Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy EB, and I am back for another video. This, by the way, is a new channel, just getting it started. So, if you guys could tap in, show some love, subscribe, like this video if you enjoy the content, and keep coming back for more. Today, I am going to do a little something. Let me set you guys up right here. Let me talk to the camera for a second. I am going to do a closet tour, like I low key. Like all of you, I have nothing to do. I just want to show y'all a couple of my favorite pieces. We're not going to get into shoes because I'm going to do a shoe collection video. And that is going to be fire. Stay tuned. It's not coming anytime soon. But like, I'm just putting it on the radar. Letting you guys know that it is going to be happening. Yeah, we're about to dive into my closet. Take a look at some of my pieces. I don't have anything crazy out here. I don't have no like Ralph Simmons or Burberry. But I have like your H&M, your Urban Outfitters, your Bud range you feel me so my closet is gonna be a budget closet tour and I do a lot of thrifting so we're about to check it out right now So as y'all can see, I have a pretty small closet. It's not really nothing like too crazy. I just want to go over a couple pieces, not that many pieces. If this video does good, I might do a part two for you guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that. Please go down below and subscribe. Right now I only have one subscriber, so be my second, you feel me? Oh yeah, Stussy. She got Stussy on that baby and it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> bro, my girlfriend got, I think this is toothpaste. Bro, don't don't roast me. Don't talk bad about me or anything like that. Uh, I take care of my clothes. I just need to wash this, I guess. Hey, this is a fire piece as well. I love this dizzy piece and it's rare. It's hard to find. You can't just hop online and find it, bro. You have to do a little digging. You feel me? This is the first piece I want to talk about. This boho, actually, let me throw it on for y'all. The boho bomber jacket it barely fits me now the reason i picked this piece is because this piece essentially got me into fashion like i didn't know anything about fashion i used to rock the athletic shorts i used to rock the athletic tees and just think i was dripping i used i was really into collecting kicks but it wasn't like i got lebron and stuff like that. nobody wears that this was one of the first pieces i got a couple years ago this was really trending i got this from boho and i thought i was that guy like i used to wear this with a white long line i, I actually even wore it with button ups i just i don't know i thought it was so fresh and it's so I like this piece a lot. I never wear this anymore. Look at that. This is so cheap. I love Boho, but yo, this ripped on the first the first time I wore it. So every time I I hug somebody or I, I didn't want to lift my arms or anything because I didn't want to get embarrassed. Try to glue it. Nothing worked. First time I wore it. Sometimes I had to walk like this. I had to hide my arms. I was kind of embarrassed. And this one is a medium now. It doesn't fit me. I don't know why it's still in my closet. Low key, I need to start donating this stuff. Yo, this vest is everything to me, bro. This vest, actually, I'm. If you go on my Instagram, regular E B R E G U L A R E V, you will see that I love to wear vests. I'm always wearing vests. I have like four of these ones. But this black one is really my go to. It's super practical it goes with literally everything it is black you can't it doesn't get better than this it is black literally it has see-through on the back so you can see whatever graphic may be on the back of my shirt i have a lot of shirts that have graphics on them and i want them to be seen bro like i don't want to be covering them up all the time like i want them i want people to see this fire dragon graphic i want people to see that palace graphic on the back i want people to see all these different graphics that i may have on the back so the see-through was ideal for me but yeah no this vest really got me going into fashion so i really mess with this if we are doing a how much is your outfit worth type video my outfit would be worth nothing right now this is literally cost 20 dollars, i believe but yeah that's one of my pieces one of my one of my go-to pieces I love this turtleneck. I really, turtlenecks are, have really been in style. Like, I mean, not now, it's spring, 
but like in the winter time right before all everything happened people was really rocking these like everybody loved them bro i would wear mine right now if it wasn't so warm outside if i could go outside but yeah no i really messed with this this is one of my pieces i know i'm really showing y'all all black pieces but right now i'm just going from left to right and it's you know my closet is color coordinated welcome to the closet tour you feel me it's your boy ev <laughs> back again with another video make sure you subscribe make sure you like if you're enjoying this banger yes sir hey shout out i don't have to say too much about this one shout out to jerry lorenzo look shout out to jerry lorenzo look at it yeah you know what's going on essentials shout out to jerry lorenzo this is a really dope piece uh quick little story time jerry lorenzo did a pop-up shop in la and it was like a museum it was fire one of my girlfriend and we ended up copying this piece together but we were supposed to share it, but hey, don't tell her. I'm the only one who really be rocking it, and it's really fire. So one of my pieces. I thrifted this. I probably got it for maybe $5. It was like a huge like thrifting event, and you can negotiate. I don't know how much you guys know about thrifting, but you can negotiate. And I ended up um, negotiating with this guy. I showed him the piece. I was like, yo, I'm trying to buy this. How much? And he was like, yeah, slide me 20. It was either 20 or 15. And I was like, my guy, like, would, like, come on, give it to me for, give it to me for five. And then he was like, five? And then I was like, yeah, five. And he was like, it's a Harley Davidson. Though. And I was like, nigga, what does that mean? I don't ride motorcycles. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I was like, nah, like five is cool, bro. Like five. <laughs> like I wasn't budging. Like, bro, whenever you go thrifting, don't fold, bro. Don't fold. They're just looking to make some money, no, regardless. Hey, he probably got this for a dollar. So he still made a profit. So you feel me? Never fold. Never fold. This is a really fire piece. I love this. Go thrifting. Sustainability. Yo! Another. <laughs> Let me show y'all this. Another thrifted one. This is really essential to me. I actually just ordered a brand new Nike crew that is embroidered. It's just it has the swoosh and then it says Nike. But y'all, this was made in US, bro. That doesn't, that is so rare. That doesn't happen. It doesn't say on here, but y'all already know about the Nike vintage. That's a great tag, bro. This is worth what? 30, 40 dollars, 50 dollars. Cuz gave it to me for 10 dollars. He said, I can see how much you appreciate it. I can see that you are a true Nike fan. And to be real, y'all, I love Nike, bro. I really love Nike. Nike is my favorite brand, actually. Yeah, Nike is my favorite brand. For somebody to say that they could see how much I love Nike and appreciate Nike and slide me this for a discounted price, I was at, I was in awe. Another thrifted piece. I'm sorry I keep showing y'all thrifted pieces. I'm gonna start getting to a little bit more expensive stuff. But y'all, I love this piece because you can pretty much wear everything. You have all the colors of the rainbow on here. You feel me? I usually like the NASCAR graphics that like are full T. Everything's covered up, but this is fire as well. I really mess with these shirts. Like I really, I wore this shirt a lot. I'm still elevating my fashion and getting better with my fashion. And I feel like I'm at a good spot right now, but obviously it can get better. But when I really first started getting into this like this six seven eight months ago this was my go-to shirt i would wear this and i would wear it tucked in with whatever bottoms like i would just be doing my thing and this and then this one as well and as you can see it has a cool little graphic on the back stussy is one of my favorite brands as you can see as you can see all right this i love this shirt mainly because i helped design it you feel me hey we got merch coming actually it's not even merch it's going to be a line so don't, relax relax coming soon not yet not anytime soon but coming soon this was a piece i did with uh as a partnership with some people at my school for a ministry that i'm a part of so that was a cool experience i got to screen print so that was awesome for the first time my girlfriend got me this one so hey i love palace i love supreme i'm not a super hype beast i've been like taking stances like away from it recently but like hey come on come on another jerry lorenzo's essentials piece Just fire you can't go wrong with fear of god okay before y'all say before y'all said it i can't even talk before i'm so embarrassed i before i'm so mortified before y'all even say anything yes this is a guest tee yes i used to rock this yes i used to wear with the air force ones and the ripped jeans yes i can dress guys sometimes you just gotta pull it out sometimes it's such a classic outfit you have to pull out the capsule sometimes you have to. I don't wear this that often anymore. I would love to sell on Depop or something like that. I'm about to get started with that. Don't relax. 
relax. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you go leave a comment down below about like maybe what videos you want to see. If you want to see a part two of my closet, go ahead and like this video as well. Hit the bell so you know whenever I upload. I'm gonna finish this up, but uh, hey, keep watching. I really messed with this Fila piece because I got it for four dollars. I've made a video about it before, or it was featured in one of my videos, but it's such a fire jacket. Made with a lot of quality, and it was only for four dollars. You know, so like that's crazy to me. No, I'm not Big Bird. I just like this piece at the time that I saw it. I don't really mess with Tommy Hilfiger too much, but this is always like a cool little piece. I wore this whenever Kobe died RIP. I wore this whenever I went to um, Staples Center. You know what's going on. It's to support Kobe and the rest that uh, have fallen. It was such a hurt. It's very warm, just by the way. If, it, if anybody was wondering. A couple of my favorite pieces, you feel me? Ooh. I need to go to Hawaii and rock this one. Get mad compliments. I told y'all I love vests. I have so many. I'm not even gonna show y'all all of them, but this is another one of them. I recently just got this blazer. Like, it's not like a great blazer. And like, as you can see, it looks like I low-key put it into tumble dry in a machine, in a washing machine, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to dry clean, right? So I want to get another one. I want to actually invest in a couple blazers a couple nice jackets But this is what I got for now and I messed with it put off some nice fits in it got Carhartt piece It's only essential. It's only mandatory. All right now. We about to get into the bottoms We about to really cover some of my favorite pants again Like I said if you want a part two, let me know down low and then maybe we can cover like most of my stuff If you want a sneaker collection video, please spam that down below because I want to drop it but I I want to make sure that y'all are ready for me to drop it. So like, we got to come to a resolution. But these ACG Nike shorts are fire. Mad pockets, They're super tactical. You can wear this and just be super chill in them. I, I like them a lot. And then I like this green color. I don't know. Can somebody let me know what color this is? Is this sage or green, blue, or dark green. I got some jeans right here. Pretty wide fit. Some dad jeans. I was embarrassed to wear these at first. Like, cause I was like, oh, they're too wide. I don't I think people are going to make fun of me. I think people are going to judge me. I think people are going to, bro, people are going to talk bad about you anyway. So wear what you want. You feel me? You, you dig what I'm saying? So like, I didn't want to wear these at first, but I was like, yo, be comfortable with yourself. And I just started wearing them and they're fire, bro. I pulled out some pretty nice fits with them. I like them a lot. I'm not going to wear them every day. Not every day type of pant. They're super durable from Urban Outfitters, so. Thrifted these, bro. I was so happy when I got these. I think I was one of the first males I ever seen wear these pants. And I be in SoCal, so like, I don't be all over SoCal, but like, I be in SoCal. I be all over. Not all over, all over, but I be all over. And uh, not, not, <laughs> Come on, stop it. Not all over the entire Southern California, but like, I'd be all, I'd be all over, bro. And I haven't seen no niggas wear this for real. So like, whenever I picked these up, I was like, let me, I, let me rock these. I pulled out some nice fits with them. They're super cash and nah, they're pretty nice, bro. Bro, these are my, these are my pants. These are my, I love these. They are wide fit. They look really dressy, really classy. You can wear them with boots. You can wear them with shoes. You might, you probably want to wear them with a little bit chunky, like dad, like shoes, but these are fire, bro. I really like these a lot. I wish I could try them off for y'all right now, but I don't have time to be changing my clothes over and over again. Let me take off this jacket too. Actually, I might get y'all attention a little bit more for the thumbnail. Do this. Or maybe I should wear my Supreme bag for the hype beast. Hype beast shows off his closet. That's why I should call the video. Yeah, we gonna work on the thumbnail later. Let's get back to the rest of it. These are hot. I love these, bro. Um, they were the first checker pants I got straight from Forever 21. I'm not gonna cap about that. Yes, I used to shop at Forever 21. Everybody does, but they're getting foreclosed now, right? They're, they're getting put out of business. They're getting bankrupt. They filed for bankruptcy. Almost like that other store, that New York store. I forgot what it's called. Uh, somebody drop it in the comments. I can't remember what it's called right now. They have all their like designer fashion. I don't know, it doesn't matter. All that to say this, I shop at Forever 21. I used to shop at Forever 21. 
another one. And I got these checkered pants from there and they're fire. Not that durable, not that great of quality, but I'm not complaining. I don't wear these every day, but a lot of good wears out of them. You can wear these on a night out. You can wear these on a day out. You can wear these anytime, anywhere. Like if everybody's like wearing like sweats and like you don't want to be too overdressed. So maybe you might want to chill. And then these work pants. I love these. They're not dickies. I wish they were dickies, but they are from Urban Outfitters, BDG. Same thing. You feel me? They fit wide. They have all this like cool like lining on them. They have these words right here, like coordinates. I think they're coordinates to the Urban Outfitters headquarters. Yeah. You can pull off a lot of skate outfits with these. Wear a little belt chain with these. So yeah, no, I love these. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna show y'all any more. Like, I still got more. Like, I still got way, way, way more stuff. As you can see, I took everything out that I showed y'all. We gonna call this the closet tour part one. If y'all want a part two, let me know down below um, and make that happen, man. I appreciate y'all, but I appreciate those who stayed and watched this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to rebuild a channel. So come on guys, help me. Let's get to 100 subscribers. <laughs> Let's get to 100 subscribers. Love you guys, stay safe, wash your hands, social distance, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.